Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Mr D here. Today we're going to answer this question. What happens if you don't get enough sleep? To help us answer this question, our success criteria are number one, identify the daily sleep recommendation, number two, identify the key stages of sleep, and finally number three, explain the consequences of inadequate sleep. So what will you need? Just a pen and paper. So first of all, why is sleep important? As you can see on this particular graph, it breaks down the typical day of a student or person. You can see here, it says 29% of the day is spent sleeping. That's just about the same amount of time as I spent at school. And then we've got these other activities as well. Now this may vary from person to person, but in general, about a third of our life, 33% is spent sleeping. So how much sleep do we need each night? Well, this depends on your age. The older you get, the less sleep you need. For teenagers, eight to 10 hours on average, adults seven to nine, therefore in general the recommendation is eight hours. But what does eight hours actually look like? As you can see here, if you're asleep at 9 p.m. and you wake up at 5 a.m., that's eight hours. Sleep at 10, up at six. Sleep at 11, up at seven. Sleep at 12, up at eight. What time did you go to bed last night and what time did you wake up this morning? Did you get your eight hours? So it's not just the time, we don't just need eight hours, but it has to be good quality sleep. You can see here stage five of our sleep cycle, that's when our brain is active and we dream. This is what's called rapid eye movement. This is the key stage to giving us a nice restful sleep. This graph explains it a bit further. So we can see the stages here, and we've got the cycles over here. In the yellow, that's when we have our REM cycle. Early on in the night, we have a small REM cycle. Later on in the night, we have a large REM cycle. This gives us our proper restful sleep. So what happens when we actually get enough quality sleep? Benefits include maintenance, rest, repair, processing the day, and much, much more. But here's the key question. What happens when we don't get enough sleep or we don't get our eight hours of quality sleep? We are less happy. Our risk of mental illnesses goes up. Our body fat percentage goes up. Our general productivity throughout the day goes down. It's more difficult to focus. Our energy goes down. We feel sluggish throughout the day. Our risk of heart disease and stroke goes up. Our risk of getting sick also goes up. Our memory actually decreases. Our stress is increased and our ability to maintain relationships is decreased. Pause the video and write these down. You made it, well done. All right, it is quiz time. Now it's time to see if you can answer this question. What happens if I don't get enough sleep? We'll do this by reviewing our success criteria. So our first success criteria, can you identify the daily sleep recommendations? Pause the video, write teenagers, adults, and general recommendation, and then write the number of hours each of these different categories needs. How'd you go? Teenagers, eight to 10 hours, adults, seven to nine, and then the general recommendation is eight. Our second success criteria, can you identify the key stages of sleep? Again, pause the video, write down these two sentences, fill in the blanks. So, the key stage of sleep is called REM. This stands for Rapid Eye Movement. Third and final success criteria, can you explain the consequences of not getting enough sleep? Pause the video, jot down all of these different sentences and words, and then write an up arrow or a down arrow, depending on what the consequences of not getting enough sleep does for each one. How did you go? Happiness goes down, risk of mental illness goes up, body fat goes up, productivity, focus and energy goes down, risk of heart disease and stroke and getting sick goes up, memory goes down, stress goes up and our relationships goes down. So, there we are, well done. Can you answer the question, what happens if I didn't get enough sleep? If you successfully achieve those three success criteria, give yourself a big high five. If not, re-watch this video and have another go. Thanks very much for watching PE Buddy. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. What would you like to learn next? Comment below.